TMZ is now reporting that your ex, Kevin oh, McCall, God. was arrested yesterday. What had happened, girl? Okay, oh. so this is what's so crazy about it, because he was arrested going into court for a case that he filed against me. So, oh. more recently, he uh, drew suit against me for uh, child support, which is amazing, because he's never given a cent and I've raised our child. Yeah. But child support, custody, and I recently changed my daughter's name from his last name to our family name, which is Sterling, and he now wants to reverse that change. And so, we were actually going to court. My husband is an attorney, Michael Sterling, mm -hmm. and he was going to court on my behalf, and uh, I guess while he was going into court, he got into a fight with security because he's crazy, like I've told the world wow. a million times, and uh, got arrested and apparently wow. has some cases that were pending already. He's on probation for domestic violence and gets someone else, and so oh. that case is uh, in a few months, and now he's being detained for something else, so. Oh, wow. Uh, well, you know what? I want to ask you, because there's a lot going on in your life right yeah. now. Yeah. You just had your baby. You had this situation. You're doing this show. Mm -hmm. You're doing our show. How are you? Oh, Lonnie, don't make me cry. Um, no, but really, though, four weeks, like, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm good. You know, my husband is definitely my rock, and he helps me keep it together. But I can say that, and for a lot of women that suffer through depression or trying to figure it out, for me, working helps. Really? Like, okay. going to work really helps. I have a great job on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show, and my boss is great, the people that I work with are great, and I think that kind of helps me through my day, because the inevitable is gonna happen, right? Like, he's gonna get arrested, he's gonna be crazy, and it's gonna start drama in my life, but yeah. the way I kind of get through that is, I just latch onto those that love on me. Yep. Yes. That's, That's all I really the right have. way to do it. Yeah. How, I I'm also just curious, how do you explain something like this, or do you at all, to My your daughter. daughter? Yeah, you know, we haven't really gotten to the place where we explain yeah, yeah. things she's yet. Still I mean, so she still believes in Santa Claus and the mm -hmm. Easter Bunny right. and things like that. She doesn't know that um, her dad is a dad by choice, by God, Michael, mm -hmm. and not her biological father. I don't mm -hmm. think she understands that mm -hmm. now. But you know what? The truth is, is my job as a mom and as a parent is to protect my daughter. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm gonna protect yeah. her against all costs. And no matter what it takes. And yeah. so if that means shielding her from, you know, the truth of things sometimes, then I'm going to do that until her innocence yeah. is no longer. I wonder this, too, just as a personal question. When you look back at your life, yeah. do you ever have those conversations with yourself, like, what would you do differently? And if so, like, would, would you? You know, when it comes to Marley, she gave my life like a resurgence. You know, mm -hmm. I had enjoyed life and it had been good to me, but when I had my daughter, like, I really learned the reason for living. Mm -hmm. And so, all that it took to get her and to have her, I'd do it all over again, no matter That's how right. I yeah. I really do. Beautiful. Well, thank you for being so open. So, yeah. let's, get, let's move on to some yes. other girls. Yeah. Okay. You're so like, yeah. <laughs> There's some things going on.